In today's video, I want to take a look at what uh, is actually a binary semaphore, a term that you may have heard about and it sounds very, very tricky, but it's actually incredibly simple. So remember when we had this uh, little program here where we had a fuel and it was changed by multiple threads, let's say here, four threads, and we fixed the race condition by just adding a mutex, right? So with this, we made sure that the value is always uh, correctly updated. So now see it starts at 50 and uh, it goes up to 150. That's perfectly fine. Uh, the same thing can be done with binary semaphores. So binary semaphores are just plain old semaphores that can be either zero or one. That's it. So it cannot be any higher than that. Uh, and that's that, that's really it. It's incredibly simple, as I said. <laughs> so to use them here, all we have to do is just define our semaphore. So I'm going to say sem fuel, and let's say here sem init of sem fuel, and p shared. I'm going to set that to zero because we're not we're using multiple threads, but only one process. And uh, the value I'm going to initialize that to one. Now this value could be either one or zero for bi for binary semaphores, but uh, I'm going to set it to one here because uh, you'll, you'll see exactly why. Then sem destroy, of course, let's not forget about that. Sem fuel. All right. So how do we use this uh, this sem fuel guy instead of our mutex? So instead of locking, we could simply sem wait. That's the first step. We could simply sem wait simply because. Well, same way, it's going to take a look at a semaphore and either if it's zero, it's going to wait, or if it's one, it's going to pass, uh, it's going to continue executing, but decrement it to zero. So other threads that are waiting are going to have to stop. This is exactly the example that I showed you with, uh, with when I introduced semaphores, right? So you can take a look at that up top. And since only one thread can execute this section at a time, well, that's perfectly fine. Then once we're done, we should actually uh, send post the send fuel. So that's the semaphore. We're going to increment it back to one so that other threads could actually uh, enter that critical section. Now, if we try to launch this, it should really run the same exact way having 250 and even if we do it in a, in a while loop, no problem, it's still gonna work perfectly fine. That's gonna create a lot of <laughs> messages on the screen. Now, if you take a look at the uh, first glance, it looks fine. Now, this is more the most basic usage for them. Um, uh, in the next video, we're gonna take a look at the difference between binary semaphores and mutexes, but right now I just want to focus on the binary semaphores because they can have some interesting uses other than just being uh, uh, in place of a mutex, right? So let's think about a, a situation where we uh, define and allocate memory for a certain uh, variable. So let's say here we have uh, our fuel and instead it's a, it's a pointer, right? It's a global pointer and this uh, fuel is dynamically allocated inside the main function. So let's say here I have fuel equals malloc size of int, right? And I want another thread, just one extra thread here. I'm going to set this to one so that we have only one executing this routine, but just that one thread, I want it to use this memory, but after it's done using it, I want uh, the main thread to actually uh, deallocated. So how do we do that? Well, first I have allocated here memory for the fuel. I'm going to also initialize it to some value, let's say 50, like above. And next up, we're going to have to change the code from here so that it doesn't have a while loop anymore. It just uses the fuel. It doesn't really have to wait on anything because we know that the fuel is allocated before uh, creating or executing the routine. So that's fine. We're going to print f current value is, and then we're going to send post on our sem fuel. Okay, that's fine. But because we're not waiting, the idea is to set this to zero. So the initial value is zero, so that the main thread is going to actually call sem wait. Right? So sem wait of sem fuel. 
this guy is gonna wait on the semaphore because the initial value zero is just gonna stop right here until this routine finishes its execution called sem post. And once that's done, we know for certain that the thread used our fuel and did something with it. In our case, it just incremented it. It didn't do really anything, but uh, imagine that it did actually use it for some computation. And now we, it, we no longer need it. So we can simply free this memory. We can say uh, just fuel. And we can even print F a deallocated or deallocating fuel, let's say. And also we should change the routine so that it takes care of the dereferencing. So I'm gonna take a look at the value of fuel here. I'm gonna change it. And I'm gonna also take a look at the value of fuel instead, not just the pointer itself. Okay. Now, if we try to launch this, you're gonna notice that we're gonna get current value is 100 and it just deallocates the fuel. The thing is without this semaphore, we have this simple binary semaphore that we can just comment out right now, you can notice that the fuel is deallocated straight up. And as you can see, we get a totally different value than before. We get 50 instead of 100, right? Um, so it's not the right order. So to control that order, to control, to make sure that the, the resource was used, we are gonna use a binary semaphore here. I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, uh, the source code is gonna be found on our website, the link in the description below. All right, take care, bye.